KSBW Weather with Art Jarrett. Well, welcome back. We had the benefits of downsloping winds today going into parts of Santa Cruz. They picked up some mild temperatures here. It's 73 degrees, 72 in Watsonville. A bit cooler in Ben Lomond, though, coming off the ocean with the zonal flow. 68 degrees, 71 out there in Boulder Creek. Moving down to the peninsula, temperatures uh, they picked up a little bit of warmth here, but uh, not holding on to it for too long. 65 in Pacific Grove, 65 Seaside, 64 Monterey, 70s to get to uh, Big Sur and parts of Carmel Valley and into the Salinas Valley here. You can also see we were a little bit cooler, but mild conditions. All the way through 71 to 74 degrees down in King City. How about the Santa Clara Valley? We picked up 75 in Gilroy, 73 in Morgan Hill. Very cool for this time of year for San Jose, 69 degrees. Overnight temperatures. Oh, Dipped down big time. We saw a lot of uh, mid to low 40s. Here's that look. The zonal flow continuing on to move straight across west to east. We have the cold front well to the north. You see it bringing the storm track into the Intermountain West. A little bit of a warm front well to the north of that going into Vancouver, but coming out of the Gulf, we have a whole lot more of that moisture. Crossing parts of the state, we do have a whole lot of sunshine going on with high pressure slowly beginning to build. You can see some of the clearing going on. And across the states, we do have a cold front slipping in from the Great Lakes all the way down back to Arizona, and that is bringing rainfall right. Now it is going right through parts of Kansas City, Missouri, where the Giants will be playing eventually. But 50s and 60s, 70s on the coast. We saw 70s in the interior. Uh, in fact, we saw some pretty good warming going on all the way back down to Palm Springs. Not as warm as they were last week, but still 89 degrees, not bad. 76 Las Vegas, 58 in Lake Tahoe. Across the nation, we saw temperatures around 53 to Bismarck. Much cooler temperatures all the way back to Seattle because of all that moisture. 77, you get into Chicago. 64 in New York. Very fall like temperatures all the way down to St. Louis. Mild conditions. The humidity picking up with high pressure here. 84 degrees all the way down to Atlanta as well. 82 in Dallas. And there you have the dry line right here of the rainfall and that uh, warmer humid air. Here's a look now right back into Kansas. You can see it, all that moisture slowly starting to drift right through now and it continues just to kick right out. We'll see that clearing as the nights progress and we'll also have a lot of uh, moisture out there for a little bit of fog. So if you are heading on out there, you want to make sure you bring a nice jacket because we have that cool wind coming in. The moisture will stay well to the north. We do have a little bit of high pressure building over parts of the southeast as well as parts of the west. We're seeing that continue on. Wednesday should be our warmest day of the week. We get right back to temperatures forecast. We're 49 to Bismarck down to 86 in Dallas. You see that the, the dry line surely has moved now more horizontal and it's um, all that moisture will stay well to the north. We'll see some pretty good temperatures getting back to the west as well. Where we're looking at some good temperatures. Here, 57 to 50 if you're heading out to Kansas uh, for, the, for the game, for the World Series. Chilly evening and clearing late, so those some cold temperatures. They should be getting a low of 42 degrees. How about this? We get back to the uh, west here. There's a dry slot moving right in. That's just north of the zonal flow, and that'll continue to move right over parts of Oregon and Northern California. That'll start to clear out some skies as we get warmer temperatures. Coming out of the Gulf of Alaska, there is our next system. That's for a Friday and getting into Saturday right behind it. That moisture is going to roll right back on in. We're going to see temperatures kind of soar a little bit as we get into parts of Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll see that warmer air slip in. The first round of moisture comes in, and then it'll bring that rainfall chance all the way down to Thursday for the Bay Area and parts of uh, the Central Coast. We'll see 20, uh, well, 21 hundredths of an inch up to three quarters of an inch and a whole lot more in the mountains. That's what we're looking at right now. That's how juicy those storms are. We're going to see temperatures tomorrow in the 60s, 70s, all the way down 101. Mild temperatures again. I bumped up the overnight temperatures. We should see a little bit of warmth. We do have some northeasterly winds coming coming in very light. That'll help the, uh, the warming and take out some of that fog. 77 in Soledad all the way down. We get back to parts of the peninsula. We'll see warmer temperatures here, about three degrees in warmth for everybody all the way around. 73 Boulder Creek to 76 in Santa Cruz. And your forecast tonight, we're going to have mostly clear to clear skies all the way through. Winds will pick up out of the east as well and then go back to northwest. 72 to 80, that rainfall chance as after we get out of midweek, we'll get right back into Friday throughout the day for rain and then scattered showers on Saturday. And then we'll find ourselves with some clearing or skies on Saturday and or the next day, I should say the following days coming through for Sunday and Monday. Take a look at this. We go to 66 to 76 tomorrow, warming it up big time Wednesday for Santa Cruz in the north end of the bay. And there are your chances of rainfall again. It's still a lot to change. It could possibly happen. We'll find ourselves with some very interesting weather going on through the whole week. Yeah, we, but whatever it takes to get some rain. Yeah, if we get rain, then I was just okay. talking to a couple of uh, ag people yesterday. They were like saying, hey, look, man, we don't have rain. We don't have jobs. Yeah. And that's important we for everybody around here. Okay.